Okay, now I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to wear on the, um, at the funeral service. Um, I have a few hours left. This is the dress that I purchased at um, Burlington Coat Factory. It was, uh, I think I had like a $20 off gift card or something like that. Anyways, it was really dirt cheap or a free dress. So, um, would have liked to have worn it for like maybe date night or something. But, um, I think this would be perfect because I think it's going to be rather warm. And I don't know. I like this necklace because I like how it kind of goes down. And, um, it's really pretty and lightweight. But, um... I'm thinking, I'm kind of rethinking the necklace here, um, to the necklace that my grandfather had made. He was a silversmith, and I think I'd better keep it more traditional. I've never told you guys, but um, we are actually full-blooded Navajo American Indians, and um, I will be traveling to the back to the Navajo Reservation for the service. Um, a lot of our family are making their way now, um, traveling to Arizona, and um, my flight is in a couple of hours. And wow. <laughs> So I just got done giving my mom a sponge bath. Yeah, now, isn't that pretty though? My aunt gave that one to me. Um, maybe I can wear that with something else, maybe on my way to the airport. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna go with this necklace. But um, anyways, so I have been um, just trying to tidy up around the house. I mopped, I vacuumed, I got kitty all situated with all her food and all that and um I'm pretty much all done I just gave my mom a sponge bath so she's all nice and clean and now I just have to really pack and figure out what I'm going to wear to the airport and um at least I know this is what I'm going to be wearing tomorrow for the service and then I like to change into something a little bit more comfortable and, um, and then also my flight back. So I need to get one, two, three outfits in a carry-on bag. And I need to take a shower. Because <laughs> after cleaning the house, uh, yeah. I just want to make sure my house is clean. Because, you know, we're going to have random people, random people in the house helping out with my mom. You know, just checking on her and everything. So I just kind of want to make sure that the house is all um, kept up. Um, any of you guys like that when you guys are on, you know, you guys are ready to go for out to travel? Am I the only crazy lady <laughs> that has to have her house clean? Because you just never know, right? You just never know if someone needs to come in your house and you don't want to be all embarrassing, you know? So, <laughs> I know. So, anyways, um, house is all good. I think I got my outfit here. I just need to figure out shoes. Um... And let me throw everything in a bag and then let me get ready and take a shower. I do definitely want to curl my hair now so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. So, okay. Okay, I made it at the airport. I'm running um, on time, which is great. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and grab my bags and get to the airport. I'll try to um, record some footage if I can, but um, we'll see. <laughs> All right, here we go, leaving California um, and heading into a very hot Phoenix, Arizona. Here I come. just got my rental car I'm here at Sky Harbor Phoenix Airport it is humid and it is like 94 <laughs> OFG okay this is a brand new Malibu that they gave me only has 
I think he said it only has 90 miles on this. Nice. Ooh, I love this smell. Oh, look at that. Fancy, fancy. I love the uh, engine start. Never had anything like this before. Oh, this is crazy. Sweet. I love the smell of brand new car. Oh, it's been a long time. Just kidding. Okay, now it's time for me to go and find my um, find my hotel here in Phoenix. It is so humid here. Give you guys a quick room tour. This is like um, a little kitchenette. Let's see if there's anything in here. No. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> little desk area here. Then you have like a little living room area. Even has a fan there, which is kind of nice. And then TV. And then here is my bed. And like literally the swimming pool is like right there. And then here is the um, bathroom. Nothing too exciting there. And then there's me. Ha! <laughs> and then bathroom. Just a plain bathroom. That's pretty much it. So I am tired. I'm here now in Phoenix, safe and sound. So I got to get some sleep because in about five and a half more hours, I got to get up and get ready. And I got to head um, over to the reservation to see my family. And I cannot wait. Um, they've been calling me, making sure I arrived okay and everything else. I've been on the phone with my mom and my dad, and my dad, my mom and my husband, and um, they're doing really well. So everyone is safe and sound tonight. So good night. Good morning. It is. 4.30, I am on time, so this is what I am going to wear, excluding the uh, flip-flop. Hopefully, I just got to put on my necklace. I'm in Flagstaff, so I'm halfway to my destination. There is San Francisco Peak Mountain. I have a lot of family history here. I used to ride in the pickup truck here from the reservation. Seen a falling star until I saw one last night. My elders tell me a story about the falling star way now this is my favorite part of coming into tuba city if you can see all of the red it is just beautiful i love it I've never seen a falling star until I saw one last night. My elders tell me a story about the falling star. Way oh hi oh hey hey ho. Okay, so this is my room. Um, I actually had a reservation for two queen beds and um, <laughs> my um, aunt is going to be my roommate so we kind of already came in here but this is the room. It's really nice. 
Um, I don't really have much of a view except for that's right there, the main strip of Tuba City. <laughs> but they have a pool and all that here. And the bathroom. Nothing too exciting. And that's pretty much it, you guys. So I am beat and I'm ready to go to bed. So good night. Okay, that's where I stayed last night. Um, my aunt and I shared a room. It's, it's, um, this hotel is run actually by the Hopi tribe here on the Navajo Reservation. And, um, a lot of the tour bus, they come in and they stay here before they go to the Grand Canyon. So, it gets pretty busy, so good for them. It is, um, 6.15 in the morning, and I am heading back to Phoenix this morning. So, it's going to take me about three and a half hours without any complications. <laughs> Hopefully I won't get stuck behind a, um, like a diesel truck or even a tourist bus. So, um, so hopefully I'll get there. My flight's at 1130, so, um, it was a really nice service for my uncle. And I'm so happy that I did this. And it was great being around with my family. I hugged as many as a possible and um, they loved seeing me here. They were very honored that I made the trip. And so now I got to pass all along their hugs and love back home to um, Jay and my mom. So that's where I'm headed. All in all, it was a wonderful trip. All right, Phoenix, here we come. Well, good morning. It is um, about 7.30, and I still have about um, two more hours to Phoenix. I just stopped at um, Jack in a Box here in Flagstaff, and because I was driving, I really couldn't really give too much footage going through town. But um, I wanted to show you, and if I can get a picture, of the offices where my um, aunt was uh, when she was a supervisor of Coconino County here. And um, it covers Flagstaff and, and the surrounding areas. And she was a supervisor of that county, which is almost like equivalent to like a mayor in a sense so she has great respect within this community and our tribe so um, it doesn't hurt to name drop her name um, because everyone kind of knows her actually she also has a park in honor of her name as well the Louise Yellowman um, Park in Tuba City so she's pretty much a big deal around here very proud of my aunt very proud that um, that um, I am her niece so um, something you guys didn't know that I'd share that with you but anyways I got to get back on the road now I got my jack-in-a-box I know it's not very healthy but um, I have to figure out how to get back on the interstate I haven't been here for so long um, traveling through here is a lot of memories and um, you know kind of sad because um, some you know relatives are no longer with us and I wish my mom was with me right now um, it's my first time ever coming out here without her, so um, kind of bittersweet, but I'm really glad I'm here.
it was really um, very much needed, I think, for me as well. I'm getting the car wash, you guys. I just could not turn the car in looking the way it was. Has all the uh, res dirt on there, oh my god. I mean, I got time. It's only 9.16, so I made really good timing. I'm only 30 miles away from Phoenix right now. <sighs> Don't you just love car washes? <laughs> I know, my family probably think they were laughing at me, because, um, I had this beautiful car, only had 92 miles on it, and now I have, oh my God, look at that, 614 miles. Talk about 600, almost 600 miles I put on this poor little brand new car. That's cool. Alright, as soon as I'm done, I gotta get back on the road.